where do you see opportunities for people with like a background like mine or someone who was a news photographer or like a TV reporter? Um, Great what? question. Yeah, I would say number one, I would say that the advantage there is for most of your colleagues, you probably, you already have great communication skills, which the funny thing about like online video is really just a medium. Online video itself is not a means to an end. It's the bridge between you and the end consumer that is visual, audible, um, and you can just get across any message you want, whether you're updating people on the news, teaching people about sewing, helping people find cameras. So you are already great at communication, crafting stories, crafting headlines. Those are huge skills for things like YouTube because you want things to be provocative the same way as you think about trying to hook viewers' attention as you do a treatment on a journalist piece is you want to hook viewers' attention no matter what kind of content you put on YouTube. So all of those skills are very, very transferable. I would say hard skills and soft skills. Hard skills like learning even just camera operation or switching and things like that. And then soft skills like even just EQ and spotting trends and all those types of things. On the flip side though, I would say that there's also things that people would probably wanna unlearn. One person to study is Will Smith, who has recently kind of gone all in on digital. He's vlogging on YouTube and things like that. But what's interesting is other celebrities, people who've already had influence and credibility and are already known, have actually tried to transfer to digital unsuccessfully. And I think the reason why is because again, they bring the old ways into the new platform. So I think you wanna bring a lot of skills along with you, but you also want to unlearn and, and now learn the skills needed to thrive, say on YouTube in particular.